what's going on everyone it's marcellus back with another video and we have to go over something on the stock market this time so yeah it's a different video than usual we are going to go over the hcmc stock this is an otc stock and otc means over the counter so you can't get this on Robinhood, but you can get this on td ameritrade that is what i uh, prefer using for otcs i use td ameritrade and uh actually hcmc is one of those stocks that i invested in a long time ago that actually changed my life forever literally because i invested it at the very lowest point that anyone could have invested it at pretty much which was 0. 0.0001 and yeah you could have got it way 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 down here but i got it at 0. 0.0001 so there was three zeros 0. 0.0001 and then i sold it all the way up here when it got to about 0. 0.005 and then I turned $700 into $20,000. And this is why this stock has literally changed my life because I took the money that I made from the stock and then I put it into cryptos. And now cryptos are going crazy. I put it into Dogecoin. Dogecoin went all the way up, you know, 10X my money in Dogecoin. And then I put it into Shiba. And then Shiba went up crazy, but then Shiba dropped. And then Dogecoin dropped. So yeah, that money went down, but I still have that money inside of the cryptos. And yeah, we have to talk about HCMC because HCMC is a life changer for people because of what it can do in such a short period of time. So you can you can 5x your money, 10x your money crazy on this. So HCMC, let's look at it from more of a broad perspective, because as we see, this is where we are for the short term. You know, this is where we are for the short term. So when we look at a more broader perspective here, we just go all the way out to the four hour chart. We see that HCMC had multiple uh, reverse stock splits. But HCMC, it, it, when it did have these stock splits, it's kind of, it kind of was a little bit, you know, predictable, you know, like the way it kind of moved up here. Look, look at this, how HCMC just straight up, you know, it just straight up defied all odds right there. Went straight up, up, down, up, down, up, down, right before it just dipped huge. So HCMC is one of those things that it can go up huge. It can go down, you know, not too huge because you can only go down, but so much and when you have a certain market cap you really can't go down a certain amount and as you can see hcmc is kind of like it bottomed out a little bit over there and then it bounced right back up so let's go over here and look where hcmc was so long ago over here inside 2014 hcmc it says 618 thousand 618 million whatever that is i don't even know it. too many zeros right there like millions billions i don't know don't feel like reading that but you know hcmc has so many different uh reverse splits that we just have all these different um look right here it says reverse split right here happened right here so we had a reverse split over here on 2013 december 27th right we had another reverse split you know two years later july 9th 2015 and then another year later march 9th 2016 and then not even a full year later just a few just a month like you no know, just like two months and then they had another reverse split and all these reverse splits has led hcmc to be worth almost nothing and i think the founders they wanted it to be this cheap for a reason and uh i really do believe this reason was you know to kind of just lower the price of hcmc because as you can see hcmc was worth you know it was it was going up and up and up in value and then they had a reverse split all the way up here at the peak and when they did that first reverse split they kind of ruined the stock they did that first reverse split and the stock just went downhill from there and they're like oh we can probably save it with another reverse split but no it kept going down in another one and another one and you know no more reverse splits but i mean hey if we do another reverse split it has to be to reverse the reverse you know it has to reverse the reverse if we do another reverse split so what i mean by that uh let's just back up here and look at our chart from a different perspective uh where are we at here now with the chart let's just go back over here to the four hour chart all right let's just reset the whole chart all over just reset the chart all right there so now we're looking at the chart from the more shorter perspective here looking at it from where we are here and we are 0 0.0015 with hcmc so that's actually pretty good and uh, i sold it around here but uh I am looking to get back into HCMC. I made so much money off it that uh, I'm, I wouldn't mind making some more money off it. So I've seen that it's starting to do some more moves. It's starting to move again, you know, and I, I've been watching it for a while and I see HCMC is probably going to have another little breakout here, you know, another little thing like this. And it may be bigger than that one right there. All right. So I really do believe that HCMC is going to have another breakout. But when, 
when is the main question so before we get to that let's look at what we have here for hcmc let's just look at the fundamentals right now so founded in 1985 so it has been around for a while you know it went public around 2010 i think it said and then you know they were founded inside of 85 so 1985 and they've been operating since then that's huge they're headquartered out of hollywood florida and i live in florida so that yeah that's pretty close to miami hollywood florida so it's based all the way down there so they are in south florida and they do you know all these vaping products you know all the fundamentals about hcmc so we won't take too much time on that so as we can see here this is what i really want to look at is the q1 earnings the q1 earnings was 3.47 million dollars right that's 14 percent less than what you know it usually is you know so three four seven million when you look at that and then you multiply it by our 14.13 percent you will see four hundred and ninety thousand dollars less they made four hundred and ninety thousand dollars less than what they did you know the last quarter which isn't too bad i mean four hundred ninety thousand that's not too bad you know i think they're still doing good you know in revenue and all that so let's keep looking all right this is not since the last quarter i'm sorry that is since the last year 14 percent down for the year but they are higher inside of because look you look at the q4 earnings and the q4 earnings 3.23 million then you look at the q5 q1 2021 earnings and it's at 3.47 million so we are higher than our last quarter and then our quarter before that we're a little bit higher than q3 of 2020 we're a little bit higher than q2 of 2020 but q1 of 2020 was huge for uh hcmc q1 of 2020 four million dollars but yeah i think they are doing good you know a little good financially but what we don't like to see here is the net income negative 620 or negative 696 thousand so that's bad it's only uh 0.72 percent less than last year but it's still bad i mean that's still bad 696k negative income like no nah, that's that's not good they're not profiting right now so that's definitely not good net profit or net profit margin you know negative 20 percent not good at all the operating income is actually up do up it's actually up from last year if you look at last year's yeah their operating income it's been going up every single year so every single year hcmc is starting to make more money and they're starting to you know their net income is starting to you know get lower and lower or i mean higher and higher away from the negatives if what well, i mean but yeah their net income is pretty good right now i mean they just need to keep on making more stores they need to go all over florida not just hollywood they need to go worldwide you know they do have a lot of different places all over but they really need to you know start to double down on the vaping vaping is going crazy right now they need to make some you know some deals maybe with cure leaf cure leaf is doing some stuff cure leaf just now went public so they need to make deals with some of these you know you know what i'm talking about handis <laughs> all that they need to make deals with them so this is what we're seeing at hcmc hcmc on the financial side I, I wouldn't say they're doing too well financially but if you come over here and look at their operating costs their operating income i mean negative 532k still not good but it has changed since last year net change in cash 2.39 million up 759 percent in the last year cash on the hand 5.32 million and six up 68 percent from last year so cost of revenue 1.98 million so yeah as we can see hcmc hcmc is not you know the the top stock you know i'm not gonna say it's the number one stock you want to go out there and get blah 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 now hcmc has some downfalls it has some pitfalls as you can see the volume is at 1.92 billion that's that's big volume right there and the market cap is 477 million so the market cap is uh all right could be way better i mean dogecoin is way more than it but you know, we're not talking about you know cryptos here so the market cap is all right you know it's kind of weird being back inside of the stock space after leaving cryptos because when money flows out of one thing it flows into the other so money just now flowed out of dogecoin it just now flowed out of bitcoin all cryptos really is flowing out of all cryptos into the stocks you're starting to see the stock market is starting to go up while you know crypto is going down so the stock market is going on short term temporarily because as you can see we have this ai going up sundial growers going up we have churchill capital going up all these different stocks are going up so let's continue to look at our fundamentals for hcmc now that we got all this out of the way 
all the little technicals. Now look at this. HCMC stock. What to know as healthier choices gains today despite lawsuit updates. All right. So HCMC stock is likely unfamiliar to most, but the penny stock has a very dedicated following who are looking to make huge gains from the stock in the new, near future. The health management company is looking primed for a launch today, even in spite of a legal dispute. So yeah, the HCMC army is actually really good. Uh, just type in HCMC discussion and you'll see a bunch of HCMC boards. Stock Twits is probably the biggest you're going to find out there. Whole 88,000 people watching HCMC on Stock Twits. 88,000 people. That is huge that they're all watching HCMC. And it's, a lot of them are really bullish on it. Look, said it three weeks ago and here we have it. Good moves. HCMC would be nice to see HCMC accept Doge for payment and their online stores. <laughs> But yeah, HCMC accepting Doge, accepting cryptos. This is another huge catalyst. So we're going over a bunch of huge catalysts with HCMC. The next one with cryptos, I mean, that's huge. HCMC accepting cryptos. Watch, we will get some HCMC accepting crypto news. So this is a lot of stuff going on with HCMC. So much stuff going on that it's hard to track this type of stuff. So where to buy HCMC shares today? I use my um I use TD Ameritrade. If you want to use that, that'd probably be that's the best for me, honestly. TD Ameritrade, but you don't have to use TD Ameritrade, obviously. But yeah, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm not trying to tell anyone go do this, go do that. But now nah, HCMC is here to stay. Let's go over to the official HCMC website there was actually a time a period of time where the hcmc website was not secure and it's actually secured now so that's actually really good for uh hcmc that the site is actually secured that happened a while ago but i mean i haven't made a video on hcmc for a while so i have to you know make updates even though you all know a lot of these updates i'm doing i have to make all these updates because i haven't made them to my current subscribers i have to make these updates for hcmc but yeah, HCMC is doing a lot of different things. Let's go over to the HCMC news. Healthier Choices Management provides additional information with respect to its rights offering. We will be going over that. Healthier Choices Management Corp announces commencement of rights offering. So a bunch of stuff, different stuff going on here with HCMC. And uh, let's go back over here to Stock Twits and see, see where we are with this uh, Stock Twits. There it is. Stock Twits. All right. So I wanted to touch more on this about Doge. We all know Dogecoin is going to the moon. We all know Elon Musk is huge on Dogecoin. And Dogecoin for payments being accepted in online stores for HCMC. That's crazy. So if we actually go, we were just now at the HCMC website. But now we got to go all the way back over there again. But if we go over here and we go to their, um, I want to see the actual shops that they have. You know, the, uh, yeah, the vape store. They have the HCM, the Healthy Choices Markets. They have their intellectual property where they have their patents and you know the whole patent with philip morris we'll go over that too but uh the vape store so yeah the vape store they are accepting crypto payments online that is what they're saying here for the vape store so that's actually pretty good uh to know that we can actually do that that you can actually pay with crypto so earn one point for every dollar spent they're also doing a point system that's pretty cool for hcmc here uh let's continue to look over here the vape store see us online.com over here stores i'm trying to find a actual store here all right so yeah we have it fort myers cape coral floral fort myers another one in fort myers another in cape coral see they have to get out of cape coral and fort myers that is a cool place to um you know get but like come on get some more in hollywood get some more inside of miami get some more over here in pampano west palm all that get all these different florida states our florida cities in with the hcmc stuff with the vape stores right tampa needs to have more vape stores orlando all of it jacksonville we need vape stores all over florida because you know the medical is legal here in florida for the medical cannabis and that's a really big catalyst for hcmc but yeah hcmc now accepting uh now accepting cryptos that's huge for hcmc so let's back out of here let's back out of here let's just back out of all of this so then we can look at these articles here so we already know about this despite the lawsuit all right we already know about this lawsuit all right healthier choices is a brand that focuses on providing people with healthier choices obviously the company is the in the midst of a heated legal dispute with tobacco giant philip morris so yes we are still in dispute with philip morris over one of the patents 
filed in November 2020. Healthier choices. And, and remember, whenever these patents and stuff are like filed and whenever these uh these legal disputes are going out, these can last for a year up to five years. It could last it was could last a very long time. So healthier choices alleges that Philip Morris is infringing on one of its patents. So yeah, we already know about the electronic pipe produced. You know, we already know what they did with that. We already know about the patent. HCMC stock moved upward after Philip Morris appeal. HCMC was picked up. And remember, this stock this was made uh April 19th. I'm only going over it now because I haven't updated about HCMC to my current subscribers. Gotta let everyone know about HCMC and what it's doing. So we know that the appeal happened. We already know HCMC is going to continue to go out and we know that they're still going through this lawsuit with Philip Morris. When this lawsuit is won, so much money will flow through HCMC. So much money will flow through the pockets of the people who have, you know, HCMC shares. So have your choices, management court files, registration statements for rights offering exclusive exclusively for its stockholders so yeah they're, they're doing exclusive rights for their stockholders and first and foremost on behalf of the board of directors our executive staff and everyone at hcmc would like to thank this opportunity uh to thank our value shareholders for their support and from there you have the rights and the offerings all that exclusive offerings so we have all that boom we got that out the way hcmc day what hcmc stock investors are saying about the may 3rd 100 plan all right stock the hcmc stock is soaring higher and yep this happened way back in may as you can see we did have that huge huge jump it is still may but may 3rd we had that huge pump right there it just went all the way up but then it dips just as huge just as quick so it wasn't much of a you know run up it didn't stay up for too long like it did previously but at least it tried at least it did something i can almost remember the day that hcmc went up huge that was, that was the biggest day of my life it changed everything hcmc is a life changer here but let's uh look over here so hcmc day has officially arrived and has featured in every training stock section on all major platforms so yes hcmc day already happened may 3rd that already happened it went huge on may 3rd and then you know i'm trying to do a whole recap of everything that's been going on with hcmc here so i'll just title the video hcmc recap so healthier choices management corp provides additional information with respect to its rights offering an online trading platform so yes they're providing additional information about the rights offering this was just released yesterday so this is the main uh little article you want to read here because it was released yesterday so healthier choices management Corp, sometimes referred to as the company OTC stock due to a high volume of inquiries from its stockholder which is to provide information with respect to participation in its rights offering through online trading platforms so you know stuff like TD Ameritrade and other platforms that is traded on they're trying to offer their rights on those platforms so the destination is typically accompanied but the designation is tip, uh, typically accompanied by a quantity equal to 25% of the account owner's position in HCMC on the record date of May 18th, 2021. This 25% quantity represents the account owner's amount of basic subscription rights. However, investors who wish to ex exercise their oversubscription rights and purchase more than the quantity should contact. So it is a big thing that is a big thing on TD Ameritrade that I should mention. You cannot purchase more than 9.9 .9 million, 9.99 million shares of anything on there. So you do have to contact them personally in order to purchase nine over 9.9 .9 million on uh, TD Ameritrade. Just a disclaimer there. So in the coming days, we expect the online platforms to make available the necessary forms to participate in our rights offering. So yes, they're still, they're still trying to make it available for people. You know, still not available on TD Ameritrade, but they're trying to make it available on all the platforms so then we can get in on this exclusive rights offering. We know a lot of money is flowing through HCMC. This is just a little recap of what we're doing. So they're telling you all about it. We already know all about it. But just in case for the people that don't read, know about it, I'll read, you know, the about section. So healthier choices hcmc is a holding company focused on providing consumers with healthier daily choices with respect to nutrition and other lifestyle alternatives through its wholly owned subsidiary hcmc intellectual property holdings llc the company manages and intends to expand on its intellectual properties portfolio so yes they do in, intend on upping all their intellectual property holdings are their you know the whole portfolio more patents on the way they're getting they're doing so much stuff legally so they're so then they can continue to rise as a company so then the co company can continue to you know gain more traction so this is really big hcmc is doing really big things 
and it's already changed my life i hope it's changed your lives out there but yeah this is crazy let's keep on reading this the company currently operates eight retail vape stores in the southeast region of the united states so yes over here in florida we have lots of them through which it offers e-liquid vaporizers the company also operates um ada's natural market which a natural and organic grocery store so yes they have organic grocery stores out in hollywood florida through its wholly owned subsidiary healthy choice market and paradise health and nutrition stores that offer fresh produce bulk foods so we already know that the population that the population here in america are starting to really focus on health and also in florida you have to remember florida this is where we are stationed here in florida so uh, let's let's look at most vegan friendly cities right let's look at most vegan friendly cities Rem mind you i haven't typed this in right i haven't typed this in recently i'm just looking it up now right number one london number two new york city number three berlin number four los angeles number five toronto number six warsaw number seven portland number eight bangkok number nine tell something number 10 prank you so these are the most vegan cities so the reason why i'm reading this is hcmc let's go, uh, type in hcmc again hcmc needs to get out of the um oh what did i do hcmc needs to not get out of florida but they need to expand is what i'm saying they need to expand out of the united states they need to expand out of florida they need to expand their operation because they're headquartered in hollywood florida but you know they're you know their stores they they aren't really all over the u.s just the southeast so they need to be all over u.s and then they need to do these top vegan cities they need to literally go to all the top vegan cities inside of the world not just u.s just the world right and but now let's do most vegan friendly cities in florida so when you do most vegan cities inside of florida we have plenty of plant-based eateries to choose from so look Tampa is the 10th best city for vegans and vegetarians in America. So in America, Tampa, and we know that they have one of those places um, over by, uh, oh no, we just now had the, I, I closed it. All right, I'll just be able to go over there and point it out through our maps here. Thank God for Google Maps. Let's go over here. Fort Miles and Cape Coral. We already know they have so many different stores in Fort Miles and Cape Coral. They have about five and for the vape store right they need to expand to tampa now they need to head it they need to bring the operation up here to tampa all right most friendly most vegan friendly cities let's just look in america in general most vegan friendly cities inside of america so 20 best vegan cities inside of america these are the cities where hcmc will excel the best portland oregon they need to go there to los angeles third san uh san francisco the fourth is orlando so we need to we need to lock down orlando we need to get more hcmc stuff inside of orlando oh, yeah we need to do that all in orlando right so please excuse that but look orlando we need to get in orlando we need to get inside of seattle we need more inside of miami i mean it's right next to miami hollywood's right next to miami they need to expand they need to put stuff all over the place we can have multiple stores inside miami we can have multiple stores inside hollywood like this could happen and it could be a real thing for hcmc states just to have to you know step their uh finances up because when we looked at the finances at the beginning of the video we kind of noticed that their, their finances uh, a little wonky over on the finance side but you know they need to, they, they just need to up it you know i'm not gonna judge them too heavily on their finances but they really do need to up it only 5.32 million cash now nah, it's up 68 percent in the last year so if we go up 68 percent again this year we can definitely see even more of a gain here so let's go over here and type that in five three two one two and then, nope five point three million dollars times the point six eight zero nine sixty eight percent so that would be all right so sixty eight percent of uh five point thirty two million dollars three point six million so three point six million dollars if that was added onto hcmc you know plus the little uh five three two million here if that was added then their cash in hand would be 8.9 million so if then over the next year they can continue to gain more money then they'll have 8.9 million 
see this is why uh companies need to really lock in on crypto imagine if they put that five million dollars into dogecoin just imagine that all right hypothetically speaking if they put it into dogecoin when dogecoin was less than a cent then now their company would literally be one of the biggest companies inside hollywood florida but i mean they didn't do that they're not invested in crypto a lot of different companies are not invested in crypto but they need to be holding some of their cash reserves inside of crypto they need some of their cash reserves inside of their real estate you know and why real estate their stores you know their healthy choice management stores their vape stores they need to have more money inside their real estate more money inside of crypto more money investments like i really wish i could be their financial advisor because if i could be then i would take and turn this company upside down i would turn it to the best company ever let's go let's keep going over to the vegan friendly cities here let's just look at florida because this video is getting really long so tampa florida we need to go ahead and lock that in on tampa florida and i don't know why they're not showing gainesville florida but gainesville florida is actually home of university of florida i used to live there they have so many different uh healthy stores over here in gainesville and they actually have a vape store from hcmc in gainesville but gainesville is actually really good with the health you know because university of florida all that healthy stuff going all around gainesville I used to live there for like a couple years, actually five, four or five years, something like that. I used to live there inside of Gainesville and Ocala. So yeah, Florida is my stomping grounds here, but I'm originally all the way up here from Baltimore, Maryland. But this is not about me. This is about HCMC and what HCMC is doing. So we are doing great things here. I just want to us to expand more in Florida. That's what we really need. We need to expand more in Florida. We need, because we already know a lot of people are moving to Florida, right? And when we go over here and look up Florida, uh, not Florida, California, I was looking up those flights earlier, but let's just look up Florida, right? All right. So when we look up the state here, Florida, we see Florida is Florida is one of the top states, honestly. So let's go over to Google Trends and look at Florida through there instead of here. Florida is one of the top states, 21 million people. So that's 21 million people that we could possibly reach with HCMC. But when we type in Florida, we see that a lot of people are actually moving into Florida. A lot of people are researching. They're trying to get to Florida because, you know, no state taxes 24 seven. And we have, you know, the best environment, you know, and the, you know, guns here in Florida. Like you can really get a gun easily here in Florida. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like when I went to the gun store to get a gun, I gave him my ID. I signed a little paper and then they said, come pick it up in two days. And I can't pick it up in two days. Literally in five minutes, I was able to purchase one which is why Florida has so much gun violence. <laughs> That's just one of the bad things or not really a bad thing because, you know, you know, anyone's house that you break into, you are probably going to get shot down. And that's kind of how it is here in Florida, because everyone has a gun, which kind of makes people not want to break into houses. But I mean, people still do it because Florida is crazy. But yeah, enough about the politics about Florida. We already know this is a crazy state. So many people want to live here. So many people want to move here. And if you look for the past year, for the past year, Florida, huge inside trends for the past 12 months huge inside trends if you look for 2004 to present it's always been huge florida has always been the number one destination that's why when you look over here where healthy choices management is actually stationed all the way here in hollywood florida right above the best place in florida miami like literally connected to miami this is why healthy choices hcmc is going to continue to rise the um the whole economic uh growth of south florida is going so huge right now because so many people are moving there so south florida is growing at a huge pace real estate is starting to shoot up there prices are shooting up which means the prices of food inside of hcmc stores are shooting up the prices for vape products inside hcmc stores are shooting up more people are buying more customers are coming through so there's a lot of great things going on with florida right now and just the fact that hcmc is um you know stationed here is really big for hcmc and florida but this video is getting really long right now, so I'm just going to end it up, end it here, and I'll make another update on this in the future. But yeah, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And check out the link in the description for a free stock with Robinhood and Webull. And I'll be back with another video.